I'm uh, Kevin Marsh, I'm 29 years old and I run a, a small sheep farm on West Falkland. I was about 23 in, in, when I bought the farm in 2005. Uh, at that time I was the youngest farmer in the Falklands. I, I think I probably still am at the moment at 29. So it's a lot more like ranching rather than farming as such in, in, as it would be in, in UK. Uh, it's quite large scale. Everything is done on, on motorbikes to bring in sheep. Some farms even have uh, some fields of 10,000 acres, which, uh, which is the size of several large farms in the UK. Uh, me and Dad get on really well. We're, we work really well together. Uh, we do pretty much a, a day for a day. As, it's a bit of a gentleman's agreement and, and I'll see if you double up on manpower and then your job done half the time. Yeah, I very much enjoy the lifestyle. It's, uh, it's certainly uh, seems to suit me quite well. It's, I wouldn't really like to do anything else at this moment in time. It's, it's, things seem to be good at the moment. It's all, all working well. My name is Jay Moffat. I'm 28 years old and I'm an aircraft engineer. I started riding when I was six. The story goes, we'd been on uh, on an outer island. There was, a, there was a little monkey bike out there, and, and they they sort of put me on it and just could ride it. You wouldn't believe what a transformation this place is in the summer. The the whole place just starts livening up. You know, seals come back, the penguins, the migration penguins come in. Um, you know, the whole breeding season of everything starts. And uh, it's just, the whole island just wakes up. Even the smell changes. There's no place in the world I would rather be. What we're looking to the future of the Falklands is, well, as far as I can tell, it's, it's bright. The economy's really strong. Um, we've not really been bit by the recession as yet, touch wood. Everything's gaining momentum. Uh, the growth, economic growth, um, doesn't look like it's slowing down, and we might have oil on the horizon as well. So, uh, like I said, it's a bright future. My name's Dion Ponce. I'm 33 years old, I think. Occupation doing voyages to the Antarctic and South Georgia. I've been involved a little bit with Life in the Freezer and recently Frozen Planet we were involved for three three years with that, three seasons. Very often it's all about filming something new, never done before, so going somewhere new, trying something different, which is what we enjoy. We've still got the original 50-foot uh, sailing yacht that we used to live on as a family. I lived on board the boat till I was probably eight years old, I think, full time. Yeah, I was eight the first time we moved into a house, which was here in the Falklands. We then lived on a farm out on the west, which we, we still do. For me, it's, it's just nice to be somewhere distant. When you live in a place like this, you just have to get on with things. You know, if something breaks all the time, you just have to fix it because there's nobody else to do it, especially if you live on a farm, you know, if you live out of camp, you live outside of Stanley. There's just a hundred different quirks that come with living in a small community, you know. Not quite the, the postmistress is also the vicar is also the, you know, baker, but it's a little bit like that. It's mostly great that when you walk down the road, you can smile and say hello to everybody because you know them. And in fact, I think it's quite infectious because even people that you don't know will smile and say hello back. It really is a place where, where you feel you can belong and 
where where you feel a part of the community and, and not just a, a kind of citizen, you actually feel part of a living, breathing country. It's obviously not for everyone, but the people that do settle here, I think, are quite interesting. Life is simple here, but it's not it's not straightforward or ordinary. I think it, it really is quite interesting. To me, self-determination means the right of a people to, to choose its own future and to elect its own government. I guess that's the key factor that we are our own people and as such we, we have the right to determine our own future. My name is Ben Cockwell. Um, I've lived out in Fox Bay most of my life. From my childhood, I my most distinct memories are of 82. I was um, six years old at the time. And at that age, you're just you nothing really scared by anything, but you're aware of the intensity of it. And I can remember me and my brother being held at gunpoint by a conscript while my parents were taken away to search the house for Marines or something like that. And uh, I can just remember, because he was there with his gun, and so that makes an impression, but I can just remember he was really scared. You know, they all were, the, the young conscripts. There's a lot of legacy here from it. I mean, the obvious one is the minefields, but so it's yeah, it's still very much part of Hawkins' culture. Of, well, it's a sort of memory of what happened and and a bit of distrust and, and yeah, fear too. You know, it's not that anybody thinks it's going to happen again, but but it's left its mark. You know, very much, very much has left its mark. I think we're the most southerly beacon that's going to be lit. It's just going to be a huge community party down here in the, in the middle of winter. It's a little bit of a shame, you know, people coming to the islands, they don't always get to see it in its best light with all the wildlife and the sunshine. You know, you say, oh, well, I'm born here, and they say, oh, really? And, you know, just occasionally you get the odd one that, that sort of thinks that that's something to, you know, oh, for you. And, and I, you know, it always sort of breaks my heart when they say that because it's just the most amazing place to live. I love the fact that it's, it is so safe, you know, we all know each other, everybody's taking care of everybody. I've got two daughters and the life they have here is just fantastic. You know, we can come to a beach, we think it's crowded if there's two people on it. I think great pride in, in where we're from, honest, um, community based, uh, people who can turn their hands at anything, jacks of all trade, I think that's pretty